What's up guys, it's McNulty here. Welcome all to January 2023. It is a brand new year, brand new start. Hope you're all not hanging too hard after whatever celebrations and festivities you had yesterday. Um, but with the new year, we have a new hero of the month for January and this is going to be a doozy. So uh, we're going to go ahead and have a look at Ruffian and Nergib today. Uh, give it a little bit of a breakdown, give it due justice, because I've been waiting for this one. Um, so yeah, I hope you're all as excited as I am to check out this brand new hero. So um, let's get into it. So for January, we have a new hero of the month called Ruffian and Nergib. So it's kind of a dual hero. Uh, maybe the like, partner of Miriam and Midnight or the alternate we've got now a, a dog and his, uh, well a lady and her dog um, so not sure which one's which actually Ruffian and Nergib I'm assuming maybe Ruffian's the chick and uh, Nergib's the dog but anyways we have a red hero a fire hero which is good news for me because I'm lacking some fire heroes of the road class and we love the road class because of course you have a chance to dodge any uh, damage from enemy special skills. So 2023 family, uh, the first of the 2023 family, we don't know what the uh, bonus is gonna be for those heroes for a long old while now. So we have two passives with Ruffian and Nergib. Uh, the first passive is the mana on health recovery. So this character is gonna receive 5% mana each time its health is recovered. Sweet, sweet passive. Doesn't have anything to do with any specific conditions. As long as they receive a heal, they're gonna get 5% mana. Doesn't matter whether it's boosted health or regular health. Great passive to start off with. Passive number two, eat minions and gain mana over time. I love the sound of that. Um, let's see what it means. So every three turns, eats all minions from a random enemy and gains a small amount of mana for each eaten minion. I can't remember whether small is five or 10%. I think it may be around 5% mana, uh, but that is still a great passive. The only downside there is that it does eat minions from a random enemy. If there isn't an enemy with minions, uh, I've sub I'm assuming It'd be interesting to double check this, but if one of the enemies doesn't have minions and another one does, whether this passive will actually target the enemy with minions, I would assume it would just be a random enemy, um, but it says eats all minions from a random enemy. So maybe it would be the one with minions, maybe not, but it doesn't matter. There's so many minions and so many beefy minions as part of the meta nowadays. Just looking at two sort of premier tanks, You've got Holder, whose minions are super beefy and really annoying. Um, and you've got Miriam and Midnight running blue tanks and her minions are freaking annoying as well. So this is going to be able to deal with that to an extent. So it's a good counter already. Now, moving on to stats. Now, we're going to go, uh, let's have a little look without limit break. So 801 attack, which is pretty decent for a hero of the month. 704 defense a bit lower and 1470 health so nearly 1500 health i do like that stat so when you add limit breaks and emblems we're going to be just pushing up to near a thousand attack um, 963 817 so a bit lower on the defense and 1776 health so pretty decent team power of 961 uh, going to be a good survivable hero i would say um, if you are going to level up, let's have a look and we'll see what kind of path you should take when we look at this special. So the special is at fast speed, which is so, so nice to see. Uh, these heroes of the month have really gotten a lot of stick, unfortunately, since they released the old Teluria and Vela and all the rest of it. Um, they've just been super underpowered. So we have a hero of the month at fast speed. I think the first one since Grace. Um, and she steals 50% mana from the target and distributes it on allies at fast speed. Nice. So you can target 
whichever target you like, or you could target the target which has the most mana. I'm assuming that would probably be the way to go. And 50% of that mana is going to be distributed across all your allies. She then deals 420% damage to the target. So a sniper. But the more health the enemy has, the more damage they'll receive up to 570%. And that is a pretty solid hit. It's going to be slightly higher than Anne's, I think. If you look at the uh, 550, I think is what Anne does. But then that's not conditional in this one is. It's a pretty good hit. And you can kind of plan it, which makes this special so good. Because you can plan around who's got the higher mana, who's got the higher health. And they are running at fast speed, so it means that you're going to get the chance to fire this off when your enemy has higher health. The element link is going to give all fire allies plus 5% chance to dodge status ailments for 4 turns, and this effect can't be dispelled. That is a great ailment link. I mean, element link. <laughs> ailment link. Um, but... I know that this was reduced substantially from testing in beta um, and I think rightly so because it is an excellent passive and I think it was something like 80% if I, I'm probably wrong but I think it was around 80% when testing in beta. Um, so it's been reduced to 5% chance to dodge status ailments for 4 turns but the effect can't be dispelled so it's a nice little add-on, a nice little bonus to what is a very, very... Um, mouth-watering complete package and just looking at the tongue hanging out of the mouth and that was the first thing that came to mind so i am stoked about this hero of the month um i did try you know as soon as it opened up this morning just about like 10 or so uh to try and get this hero of the month wasn't really concentrating on anyone else and had two legendaries and i was just like where is ruffian and no gib um, but yeah, congratulations if you do pull this hero. I think it's going to be an excellent hero, going to be super fun to play with. And the nicest thing about this hero, I think, is just that you do have the option to steal mana from a target. You've got the option to target somebody who's got higher health. Um, and that hit is going to do some serious damage running at fast speed. So I think this is going to be a really fun hero of the month. Not overpowered. I think that there are some counters. So I'm not going to say that this is the most defensively built hero. I don't know. I mean, you could put them on your defense. I think they'll just be frustrating. I'd probably, if I was going to put on my defense, pop uh, Ruffian and Nergib on the wing. Um, just because that little bit of mana steal is going to be, be, be um, messing with your team. Um, the element link's going to mess with the team. Um, and you've got to watch out because if that hit fires off, it can be a pretty solid snipe. I would say more an offensive hero, this one. Um, and going to really pair up with fire allies pretty, pretty darn well. So... Congrats to any of you who did manage to grab Ruffian and Nergib. I will certainly be disappointed if I don't manage to get this one during the course of January. Been doing pretty well up till now with Heroes of the Month. Um, but yeah, this is a great, great hero. So congrats to you all if you did pull uh, Ruffian and Nergib. Uh, all the best of luck with your summons. Please drop us a like and a subscribe if you found the video helpful. And I'll look forward to seeing you all again in the next video. Have a great new year. Peace.